Hey guys, welcome to Sunday Sermon, short and sweet. Last Sunday, we took a look at Mark 4, 35. That's the very familiar story with Jesus and the disciples um, on a fishing boat going to the other side. They found themselves in a storm. A storm came up out of nowhere. It was a, a harsh storm. Big waves, high winds, a lot of rain. The disciples were in fear. They actually thought they were going to die. They were so consumed and in awe of the power of the storm that they had forgotten that Jesus was on the boat with them. They went and they woke Jesus up. And of course, Jesus calmed the storm with a few words, quiet, be still. The waves went flat, the rain stopped, the storm was gone. And now the disciples stood in awe of Jesus. We asked ourselves, are you more in awe of the storms in your life or are you more in awe of Jesus? Often when the rough times in our lives come up, we just focus on them and we forget about how awesome and amazing Jesus is. Well, how do we remember? We need to have a stronger faith. Jesus asked the disciples on the boat, you still have no faith? You saw me do miracles. You saw me feed all these people, thousands of people, create food, create an, a hand, create eyes, heal the lame, and yet you don't think I'm going to take care of you in this storm? That's what we need to do. Remember that Jesus is in the boat with you no matter how bad your storm is. No matter what you're going through today, no matter where you find yourself this week, Jesus is with you. We need to be in awe of him. How do we do that? Look for God's fingerprints in the word. Get in the word, read. Study it. Let him speak to you through his word. Get in prayer. When's the last time you got in deep, fervent prayer? Get alone. Get out in nature. See his fingerprints all around you. See what he has created and be in awe. When you find yourselves in the storm of life, remember, Jesus is in the boat with you. Have a great day.